Good day, my name is Shoal. I work for a company Micro Graphics and we can be found on the web at www.mgfx.co.za. Right, so the uh, topic of the video today is to um, use AutoCAD to count objects in AutoCAD and then uh, um, just uh, uh, automatically you know, sh show them in a table using the table tool. Alright, so what I have done is I have created two layers existing manholes and uh, new manholes. So I'll go to existing manholes and um, I'll just go and place a couple of um, items within each of those layers. Um, <coughs> right, so there's a manual. All right, so I'll kind of just uh, zoom out and uh, place a couple. All right, so these uh, are a couple of existing elements and then I will also place some new ones. All right. So as I place these uh, from the uh, sample uh, area, they have been uh, um, added to my drawing. <coughs> right, so that's the first step, is to basically place these items. Right, then I'll go to um, the uh, layer or the tool called table. Right, once go, I'll go in there, um, I'll now select the option to pick and generate the table from objects within the drawing. Right, I'll go OK. Um, I need to save the drawing before I can continue, so that's fine. Uh, as it is a new drawing, that's OK. I'll just save it on the desktop. <coughs> All right, once done, uh, it now goes through the process of defining this particular uh, count mechanism or the table. Right, so I'll just say create a new extraction, that's fine. I'll give it a name, I'll call this uh, count. All right, I'll say save. All right, it includes just this drawing at the moment. So I'll go next. All right, it finds the information from the drawing and I will exclude everything except the block called manholes. All right. Yeah, I'll also exclude everything uh, except uh, perhaps a property called layer because I've got two elements uh, or a number of elements from two layers so I want to filter by the particular layer. All right. I can also include things like the XYZ or the XY positioning which is uh, quite uh, uh, yeah, perhaps important in uh, a scheme of things if you're using civil um, items. Alright, so I'll go next. So these are all the items that I have um, created or, or, or counted. I'm going to right click on this column and I'll say right let's sum these up. So there's seven items over here um, as you can imagine. All right, see, You'll also see the, the seven is from the two various layers. So what I'll do is I'll exclude perhaps uh, one of these uh, layers meaning the existing ones that I want to count. All right, so I will say filter <coughs> and uh, I'll perhaps uh, say at the bottom here Right, I don't want to uh, pick up the, uh, the the existing ones, but only the new manholes. All right, so uh, I'll say OK, and it just picks up those four and their X, Y positions. Right, I'll go and say Next, and I'll insert it into the drawing. I can also export it into a, an Excel environment. All right, I'll say Next. Uh, this is the particular table style that I'm going to use. I'm just going to keep it as is and say Finish. Right, now I'll just uh, place it over there, and uh, for now I'll just scale it up uh, just to uh, make it more visible. Uh, but, but you should perhaps just add it to the um, uh, layout and then uh, uh, count it that way. Alright, so as you can see, there are now four elements very quickly counted. If I at any point in time delete one of these uh, new items, um, I just need to refresh this table. And by right clicking on its edge and saying update this particular table. Right, as I do, it then changes the uh, count mechanism, and uh, I now have three uh, items as you can see. Right, um, okay, so that concludes this uh, video. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.